co-host for the evening, Peter O'Keefe. My name is Peter O'Keefe. I'm going to be your host for the evening. We're going to have a great time. Like I said, we have a great comedy show tonight. Um, I'm happy, super happy to be here because I live with five women. <laughs> Who is right, sir? Perfect. So I'm just happy to be here and not there right now. The problem with that is they all seem to have synced up at the same time. And every once a month, it's like a massacre on Pete. You know what I mean? I live with my wife. We've been together for 19 years now. 19 years. Awesome. Uh, any lady that will have sexy time with this right here and come back for more, I hold on to very tightly. You know what I'm saying? Ma'am, beside the guy you're with tonight, you right there, you ma'am, with a smiley face. Beside the guy you're with tonight, have you ever seen another fat guy naked? <laughs> yes, sir, you can beat me up in the parking lot afterwards, that's fine. <laughs> you know, no one rule about guys my size was you never had so much on you, with so little in you. Don't ooh that, it was about me. Can't ooh that. Uh, 19 years we've been together. We measure our relationship in dog years. So every one feels like seven. So uh, I'm no mathematician, but 19 times seven. Feels like we've been together 896 years now. It's awesome. It's great. It's amazing. I got two awesome little girls. I love my little girls. They're the light of my life. I have a girl that just turned 18 and a girl that just turned 11. Yeah, whoa. Also the correct reaction to have. My 18-year-old, she's a senior in high school this year. She asked me just the other day. Uh, she had to find out she couldn't graduate because she didn't take uh, PE this year. Stupid. She doesn't take PE. Four years, she had to take PE. She didn't do it. So she said, put her in a mandatory PE class, gave it to her first period. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that's a problem. I guess it is a problem, right? I mean, I have a penis, not much of one, but I didn't know that was a problem. You know what I mean? I said, I, so my daughter conducted me, she's like, Dad, I can't take PE first period. All this right here, I can't do that. I said, all right, well, that's fine, I guess. You're going to have to find something else to do, substitute something else to do. And she's like, all right, I'm going to take online PE. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> I'm like, online PE, you can't take online PE. This is the kind of body you get with online PE. That's not going to work. you run around the computer. That's stupid. I got uh, my, she's, um, I also have my 11-year-old. She's awesome, my little Gracie. She's the light of my life. And recently, I have had to, uh, had to, um, I, I've been actually in recovery right now. Uh, I've been in recovery for six months now. And I'm, don't clap. That's not something to clap about. I'm pissed about it. No, I'm just kidding. How'd you drink? <laughs> Watch it, sir. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so in recovery, you got to do a lot of, you to try to do a lot of volunteer work, a lot of service work. And recently, I had the opportunity to sign up to become my daughter's softball coach. First year, my daughter played softball. Mr. O'Keefe, would you like to be the softball coach? I was like, hell yeah, that sounds awesome. They're like, great, you're going to have to do a background check. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's, that sucks. <clears throat> so I said, what the heck? I went ahead and did the background check. Came back that I cleared. I cleared the background check. It was amazing. And then I was thinking, I'm like, what the kind of people do they let to this organization? I don't know if I want to be her to be a part of it if they let people like me in. You know what I mean? What Groucho Marx, I think, once said, I don't want to be a member of any club that would have me as a member. And it's been cool, like we had our first team practice the other night, I got the girls together. I think the girls that are 11 and 12 years old, right? I'm a 52 year old man. I have no idea how to talk to an 11 and 12 year old girl, and I have an 11 year old girl. <laughs> so they went to play in the other day and I got this girl out in the outfield, and I, I, don't, I don't want to yell at them, you know? I don't want the parents to think I'm an asshole. You know, I am, I don't want them to think that though. And so she's out in the outfield, little Susie, and she's out there and she's doing cartwheels in the outfield. And I'm like, Susie, what are you doing? 
So I'm playing couch, playing softball, couch. Great, that's awesome. Ball gets hit to her. She picks up the ball, turns to the fence, throws it over the fence. She goes, ha-ha, home run! I was, I was like, Susie, can I trade her? Can I get rid of this? She's awesome. The other kids, I love doing it. Um, my 11-year-old also recently, she had, uh, had to have her tonsils taken out. Anyone ever experienced that? Kids with tonsils taken out. Does anybody know how much it take, costs to take an 11-year-old tonsils out nowadays? Just ballpark me. What do you think? 13 mother-loving thousand dollars. Yeah, $13,000. That's crazy. I'm a starving comedian. I'm not starving. I'm not starving. We know I'm not starving. I'm, we obviously know I'm not starving. I'm a comedian. $13,000 is a lot of money. I don't have that kind of cash, so I had to go on the interwebs to find alternative payments, if you know what I'm talking about. And I found out on the internet uh, for I could have like two YouTube videos away from being able to do it my damn self. <laughs> if I can figure out how to cauterize the wound, I'd hook that bitch up. <laughs> yes, I call my 11 year old a bitch, man. She's not here, it doesn't matter, she doesn't know. <laughs> Don't go telling her. That's not true either, though. I, for 13, I did find out on the internet, though, for $13,000, I can buy whole other kids from other countries, <laughs> and their tonsils are perfectly fine. <laughs> no problem with them at all. That's awesome. Those are two, three. I, got, I got also have, the fourth one I have is this little dog. It's a, uh, a Bichon Frise. Ah, Bichon Frise. It's a little white poodle dog, a little white puffball dog. You know what I'm talking about? It's not, <laughs> it barks, it shits, it's a dog, sir. <laughs> and I don't know if I, you know this, but I think, and I don't speak French, but I think Bichon Frise, roughly translated from French to English, means not worth the $800 I spent on that little piece of shit. <laughs> That's for damn sure. And my kids think I'm a baller, so they go to a breeder out in the land to get the thing. And they're like, Mr. O'Keefe would be happy to know that your dog is hypoallergenic and it doesn't shed. It's pretty cool, right? No. No. If I could get it to stop shitting and pissing on the floor, that would be great too. Because I'd much rather pick up hair than pee, ma'am. I have tile floors, it gets in the grout lines, you know what I'm talking about? It's killing me. And I don't speak French, so I don't know how to talk to the dog. I just stand there looking like an idiot, like, please stop pissing on the floor. Please stop pissing on the floor. And it just looks at me with that dumbass look in its eyes, with the French beret on, and the Cruella de Vil cigarette going on. You stupid American. <laughs> so I shit in this cage on the way over here tonight. On the way over, before I left, not on the way over. You got going on here. How long have you guys been together? Year and a half. Nice, you guys are still ping, 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 ping. Pretty fresh and new and everything. How long have you guys been together? Uh, 50 years, wow, let's give it up for 50 years. That's awesome. That is amazing. That is amazing. Let me ask you a question, sir, right now. Let me ask you a question. What's your name? Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, Joseph let me ask you a question right here, right now. If I had a case on stage, Joseph, in that case on stage right now, right here, case on stage, right here, right now, on a case on stage. Man, he's going to shoot me after this one. Case on stage right now, Joseph, in that case is $1 million. Are you uh owing for it? <laughs> it's automatic. Oh, shit, here we go. $1 million, Joseph. Case on stage right now. Case on stage, $1 million. Would you orally gratify another man? Joseph hasn't answered yet. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're in a year and a half in. You'll do it for a box of popcorn in a movie. Let's slow down, all right? Let's think. No, right? You wouldn't do that, right? No, of course not. Let's give it up for Joseph for not being a dirty cocksucker. That's awesome. And the reason I ask that question is because I love asking that question. Every crowd I go to all over, I've been fortunate enough to do comedy all over the country, and every crowd I ask the same question, and because the answers are spectacular. 
One night here in Daytona, I asked the guy, same thing, million dollars, case on stage, orally gratified another man. He said to me, would the lights be on? <laughs> would the lights be on? Why does it taste different in the dark? Here's the white one, here's the black one. Yes. That's dirty, Joseph. That's not good, that's not right. I did a show in a town called Re Heights, South Dakota. Anybody ever been to Re Heights, South Dakota? Definitely don't go there, it's a terrible place. The population is 87 people in Re Heights, South Dakota. They have more cows than they have people. I stayed at the Not So Super 8 Hotel in Re Heights, South Dakota. <clears throat> On TripAdvisor, it was rated number two of two. <laughs> the Not So Super 8 Hotel. Went to the show, did the show, saw a couple sitting in front. How long you been married? They said 20 years. You got kids? Four kids. You love each other? Love each other. Everything's good, right? Yes. For a million dollars, case on stage right now, million dollars, case on stage, would you orally gratify another man? He said to me, hell no. I would not do that. I am a straight heterosexual male. I have children. I love my wife, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve or some shit. Or whatever. I passed out at that point. I don't know what he was saying to me. I swear to you, folks. His wife looks me dead in the eyes and she goes, <laughs> oh, yes, he will. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, he will. <laughs> That's a million dollars, fat ass. You'll take one for the team. <laughs> I've been doing it for free for 20 years. You'll hook that shit up. <laughs>